Hello everyone, welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can fix if PixArt is just not working over on your phone. So this can be a problem with the app not opening, a project not being created or just any possible issue you are having with PixArt are going to be fixed in this video because I found 4 easy ways in order to basically fix any problem or issue you are having with the PixArt app. The first one is really really easy, all you need to do is open the PixArt app and when I go to the bottom right corner of your screen and click on your little uh, profile icon and once you've done that you want to go to the top right corner of your screen at those three dots and then you want to click on settings right here, do you scroll a little bit down and right here you will see clear web cache. If you click on that you are basically just going to clear the entire cache of your CapCut app or CapCut of course not CapCut, I can do PixArt app. So yeah. Uh, I would recommend doing that, it will clear the entire cache of your PixArt app. Once you've done that, you want to make sure to try again opening it and if it's not still not working, then what you want to do is you want to head over to your app store. Because if you're having issues with the app not opening or not being able to create a project or getting cr crazy errors or something, something then that could maybe be due to that your app is just not up to date. If your app is really really outdated then this could cause a lot of issues you are having with the PixArt app. So yeah I would definitely recommend making sure that your PixArt app is actually up to date with the latest version because otherwise it will just straight up not work. So yeah once you've done that and it's still not working you're still trying to get into that uh, trying to fix that problem. Then the third thing you might want to try and go ahead and do is scroll down once you're in settings. I'm going to click on general iPhone storage and by the way this can also be done over on Android just quickly search on the internet how you can clear the cache of your uh, PixArt app over on Android it should be basically the same however you do have to navigate to uh, a few different uh, tabs basically now once you've done that you're going to click on PixArt right here and what we're going to do on the iPhone is we're going to click on offload app if I'm not mistaken, mistaken on Android you will just have a clear cache button and I would recommend clicking on that and then that should fix a lot of, if, lot of issues you are having with the CapCut app, PixArt app. However on iPhone we don't have a clear cache button, all we can do is click on offload app and offloading the app will basically just reinstall the PixArt app. However it will also clear a lot of cache over on the PixArt app and all your projects and all your data will still be there. It's basically just a hard reset for your PixArt app. So I'll definitely recommend doing this and see if it works after that. Now if it's still not working I have one last fix for you and what you can simply do is head over to the PixArt app over on your phone. Simply hold it down and click on delete app just like this. And once you've done that you're going to simply go ahead and go to the app store because we are simply going to reinstall the app. You might have already tried this but reinstalling the PixArt app will literally just fix so many issues you are having with the PixArt app. So I'll just recommend reinstalling it just like this. Waiting a few seconds till it's back and then you should be good to go. Do remember when you reinstall the app this should fix a lot of issues however it will also delete all your projects so be a little bit careful with that and make sure you always have it saved in the cloud or something. So yeah, that are the four easiest ways in order to fix any issues or problems you are having with the PixArt app. If any of these fixes fix it for you then please consider liking this video, subscribing to my channel and I hope I will see you in my next YouTube tutorial video.